time for everything. The time to come here. And the time to return home. After service. Good morning, church. Hallelujah. Prophet TB Joshua has issued a stinging rebuke to the church in an impassioned sermon, which has attracted over 70,000 views on YouTube in under one week. There has been a great mix-up in the church, Joshua stated in the message he preached on Sunday 30th of September 2018. You cannot see Satan in the natural. I do not see Satan in the natural. I see Satan on the other side, spirit world. It is the erroneous assumption that spiritual truths can be intellectual perceived, he continued, stressing that being brought up in a church background does not equate to knowing Jesus. Many people know about Christ but they don't know Christ, he added. You can read your New Testament and still never find Jesus in it. You can be convinced that Jesus is the Son of God and still never find Jesus. You can be a publisher of the Bible. You can know about Christ dying for you. You can head this or that religious organization. You can be the founder and general overseer and still never know Jesus of Nazareth and the power of the Holy Ghost. According to the cleric, there are two Christs in the church, the Christ of story and of history and song, the baby Jesus and Christ which the Holy Spirit reveals. There has been a great miss up in the church. It is the erroneous assumption that spiritual truth can be intellectually perceived. It is possible to grow up in the church as a baby. Your father is founder of this, founder of that church, founder of that church, and learn all rights, but not know Jesus. Because Jesus is not known by those external things. Jesus is not known by those external things. In that John 16, it is perfectly plain that the Holy Spirit is the one that revealed Jesus to us. Perfectly plain that the Holy Spirit is the one that reveals Jesus to us. You can read your New Testament and still never find Jesus in it. You can be convinced that Jesus is the Son of God and still never find Jesus. You can be a publisher of the Bible. The publisher of the Bible. You can know about Christ dying for you. You can head this, that religious organization. You can be the founder and general overseer and still never know Jesus of Nazareth in the power of Holy Ghost. In the church, there are two Christ. You need to know the one you are worshiping today. There are two Christ. The Christ of story and of history and song, the baby Jesus. Then there is this Christ which the Holy Spirit reveals. He went further to emphatically emphasize that if you are reasoned into Christianity, some wise fellow can reason you out of it, unless you know the Holy Spirit. It is either the Holy Spirit or darkness. Joshua called congregants to a period of sober reflection about whether they were really Christians or merely religious people. If today is your last day, where are you going? He somberly asked. If you are serving God without the Holy Spirit, you are serving a God you do not know, he concluded, adding that this was the greatest problem faced by the church today. The message, which was titled Knowing Jesus, Knowing the Holy Spirit, sparked reactions online from viewers of Joshua's YouTube channel Emmanuel TV, 
which is nearing a whopping 1 million subscribers. Listening to TV Joshua is like going to Harvard for free, wrote Linda Atino, an American. Please don't listen to anyone bad-mouthing TV Joshua. Come and find for yourself the treasure in Nigeria, someone who will teach you how to grow closer and closer to God. If you are risen into Christianity, some wise fellow can reason you out of this. Unless you know the Holy Spirit, because knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit, if you are risen into Christianity without knowing the Holy Ghost, and you become a Christian, claim you are a Christian without the Holy Ghost, some wise fellow can reason you out of it. Unless you know the Holy Spirit. Knowing Jesus is knowing the Holy Ghost. This is why you see people today, I'm a member of this church today, I don't want to go to church again. I used to be a Christian, but uh, no, I'm this, no, I'm this, no. I'm a pastor, no, I'm no more. I'm an evangelist, no, I'm no more evangelist. So wise fellow can reason you out. If you are risen to Christianity, why? Because Christianity falls or sounds on Christ Jesus. Sounds or falls on the illumination of the Holy Ghost. It is either the Holy Spirit or darkness. It is either the Holy Ghost or darkness. The Holy Ghost is God's imperative of life. Imperative of life. If our faith is to be a New Testament faith, if Jesus Christ is to be the Christ of God, rather the Christ of history or story, the illumination of Holy Ghost will tell our heart that we are learning at Jesus' feet, not at man's feet. Are you? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is not. It's not. It's not the mind for applause. It's the mind for crying. So by reflection, because I don't see. Christian among you. I'm seeing religious people sitting down. So why, why are you clapping? I cannot say Christian among you. I'm seeing religious people sitting down. As it should be. The way your forefather serving God, the way your father praying, the way your father fasting, this is the way you are going about serving God. The Christ of history, of story, of song, baby Jesus. Who is Christian among us? If you're a Christian, can you tell me who is talking to you? Are you seeing beyond me? That is what we call Christian. If you're a Christian, you live by Holy Ghost. You'll be able to see beyond me. You can't see beyond me. You only see me talking to you. That is all you see. That is why you can go out, that is why we can do everything. That is why tomorrow you may not be able, you may not come to church if you are not here or if you are not blessed. Because you are risen into Christianity. If today is your last day, where are you going? Is there any kingdom for religious? The kingdom come and will be done. Where are you going if today is your last day? You tell Jesus I'm a member of this church, you go to church. Is that the excuse you are going to give? I can see Christians among you. I can see Christians. Hmm. We continue the journey. This is the message God has me to give you. Knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. So thank you. If you are not filled with the Spirit, 
you cannot obey the written word. That is the painful part. So you mean you are just carried by you. And you are just reading the history part of it. Because there is no way you can obey the word of God if you are not filled. That is the most painful part of it. Where is your Bible? See, this one you cannot obey. You will just be reading it as a religious man. You read to preach, to teach it, but to live it is not possible. And if you cannot obey the scripture, you quench God. You quench Him. <laughs> you quench Him. That is the most painful part. There is the day Bible, Kali Bible. Me, the word here is not just history. The Holy Spirit carry the writers along. That's the most painful thing. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. And many of you have read this Bible for five times. We have this many publishers here, publisher of the Bible. You know, there are among you that publish Bible for deliverance. Where are we going? That's the most painful part of it. Most painful part of it. Me, Bible is irrelevant to you. Now, I will be stretching her now. You see people checking. You see people checking, but you don't know what is checking them. The resurrection power that flow within me to them, you cannot see, but you only see people checking, falling. It becomes a magic to you. Ah, what is it? Without touch, what is falling people? You can't see because you are not free. To that, it's blasphemy. Your heart, you will not say it all, but your heart is saying a lot. Your heart is saying a lot. Your heart is blaspheming. Your heart is, is no less. You keep blaspheming, you keep saying what you do not understand. Your heart will blaspheme. This is the problem we find ourselves. I will stand here to tell you don't go to that church, don't go to that. Why should I say you should not go there? If you go there, You'll be able to see more. Seeing more will help your history. It will make you adequate, serving God. If that church is not good, go there. See it yourself. If you have not seen enough darkness, you cannot appreciate light. That's it. Please. You are not serving God without the Holy Spirit. If you are serving God without the Holy Spirit, you are serving God you do not know. Tell your neighbor, if I serve God without the Holy Ghost, I'm serving God I do not know. It is the Spirit that makes us know Him. Serving God without the Holy Spirit, serving God you do not know. And this is the God our forefathers served. And this is the life you are living today. Someone keeps telling you what God says. Someone keeps telling you God says you should sleep. That is the life you want to live throughout. God says you should sleep. God says you should wake up. God says you should know. God says you should fast. God says you should repeat. God says you should go to London. God says you should. Is that the life you want to live throughout? It means you are still serving God you do not know. Someone is telling you what God says. It means you don't know that God. That's why someone is telling you. For how long? Very, very painful. Tell your neighbor. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. That is the way I see it. Very, 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 very painful. Intellectually perceived. Spiritual truth. We can intellectually perceive it. Very, very painful. You have to get out of it. Forget about your problem. You don't have problem. That is the only problem you have. Every other problem are no problem. The greatest problem is for you to serve God you do not know. Tell your neighbor, the greatest problem, greatest problem. all other are not problem. 
the greatest problem is to serve God you do not know. Imagine your age today. How old are you? You have been serving God that you have dream, you have to consult somebody to tell you the meaning. You have job, you want to know whether it's a good job. You want to marry, you carry it medically to know whether it's good. Spiritually, you run from one place to another to know whether it's a right thing. This is the life you have been living. And those lives are not profitable. A man cannot receive except it is given from above. But you can receive, receive from people, receive from people, receive from people. Where are we going? You say you, you are poor. You are not poor. You say you are sick. You are not sick. You are only serving God. You do not know. If you are blessed today and you still continue serving God, you do not know, you will still come back poorer. Unless you serve God, you know.